all right guys welcome back to the channel for part six of our the ascent playthrough so far i've been uh having mixed feelings about this game the big things for me uh first and foremost is the music i'm really enjoying the music and the the graphics the art style it's lovely it's cyberpunk goodness and you really can't like look at this scene right now you have the neon lights you have the rain you have the the kind of messy atmosphere all around it's just really great just this scene right here really sets it up and i enjoy that so much the gameplay is very much like you would expect very sci-fi take on something like diablo which is cool but there are some uh, ingrained issues that you know we'll talk about as they pop up things like audio bugs directional bugs things like that that kind of mess with you know, the, the flow of gameplay overall but anyways, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you're enjoying this playthrough, make sure you leave likes on co and comments on the video. It helps me out immensely, helps the channel grow, and of course lets me know that you're enjoying it enough for me to continue making more based on this game itself. Uh, that said, I do play a lot of games like this, everything from indie all the way up to AAA, single player and co-op stuff, and of course you'll find multiplayer stuff on my YouTube channel here as well. I'm a big fan of things like Apex Legends and Escape from Tarkov. So you'll find random videos with all this stuff, uh, you know, along the way. So if you enjoy video games, make sure you are subscribed. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload. That said, let's get started on this, shall we? What is going on here? Access the blimp traffic control node. Is this it? Yes. Okay. Well, that happened, didn't it? Created a back entrance into the void chapter house here. Let's go. You know what this game really makes me want is more Deus Ex video games. What was the last one we saw? Mankind Divided, I think? Back in, I don't know, 2016, 2015, maybe? I can't remember. It's been so long. It's 2021 now. So I'm really hoping that we do see more on that as well. I love those games so much. I'll never forget playing the first one. Nice. Nice. All right, something other, you know, something is over here as well. Another item. What do we got? P9000 Room Sweeper? Uh, what's that mean? P9000 Room Sweeper. Ballistic SMG. What kind of damage are we doing here? Looks like physical. Rounds per second is 20. Clip side is 60. It looks like a, like a futuristic P90. So that's the P9000 effect right there. Makes sense. Um, oh, I can't use my guns in here. enough to cover a premium fee we have access to certain emergency funds then give me proof of these funds and i'll make some inquiries i promise you'll have it before the end of the next cycle we need those isotopes i said proof not promises we're done here <sighs> very well Again, I'm pretty sure that's the guy that bust through the wall earlier in the game. Pretty sure that's the same guy. Deploying 
icebreakers. DC location confirmed. Downloading coordinates. How curious. The desync is currently located inside the Dreamworld Club. Dreamworld located. Destination set. Time to go clubbing, Flash. You know what they say about all work and no play. <laughs> Makes Jack a dull boy. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way to Dream World then. I don't think this SMG is going to be very great until we upgrade it, but I want to give it a go anyway. Just to see what kind of damage it'll do. All right, 661 meters away. Let me see if it's close to anything else that we already have. All the way over there. That's off the map. Um, we can try to go to Arcology. Get a little bit closer to it. Even if it is only by, say, 100 meters, it'll be worth it. You know what I just thought as well? We could upgrade our armor. Like, actually buy upgrades. Okay, it's about the same distance away. All right. Dude, what is this symbol here? Oh, it's the news feed thing. All right. I'm trying to figure out how I can level up my ice to level two, and I haven't really found anything on it. I feel like I'm missing something extremely obvious. One of those things, but no way to be no way to be sure. Okay, there's like no spread on that. That's actually really solid. The damage on it's low, obviously, as mentioned, but the fact that it has no spread makes it pretty promising. say that seemed pretty new the enemies get stronger oh yeah there was a bounty right there too hopefully he's still here Ah. Level 18 now. Can't remember what level I am, but these enemies are getting a lot more health very quickly. Stop spawning enemies behind me. The 
uh, bounty isn't here anymore. That kind of sucks. to do as much off-screen damage to these guys as I can because there's so many of them that do so much damage if they get close that it just kind of it punishes you if you don't much damage there oh good that guy is right there good news about those guys they just kind of stand there and take it mg 1000 strike breaker i wonder if that's worth using four sixty three dps huh All right, so it is like the typical minigun where it like the longer you hold the trigger the you know the faster it'll fire pretty low health here yeah it also slows you down when you fire <laughs> The mobility goes out the window with that. Yeah, it's not really worth it. There's that audio bug. Random noises. there get some heal going here there we go unfortunately the uh thing's just not worth using because it just slows you down if i would if i didn't lose my mobility while using it it'd be one thing so what i'm gonna do here is go back to the heat just because it does fire damage Why is he seemingly invincible? Stasis and overcharge. Put enemies into stasis state by using certain augmentation abilities or tactical gear. 
Once in stasis, they can take additional damage that'll all come at once when the effect is over. If you manage to accumulate enough damage, the target will overcharge and explode, causing massive damage. Interesting. I uh, didn't mean to do that, but here we are. Let's take this moment to uh, heal up a little bit. Maybe he's immune to shock. No, he's just straight up immune to everything. Okay, let's see. It mentions stasis and overcharge, but never gave me anything for it. Oh, is it this stasis drone? Apply stasis to its current target. This companion drone will generate a stasis field around your chosen, your chosen target, immobilizing them for you to toy with. Okay, but how do I kill this guy? <laughs> He's got like a shield. He does not take fire damage nor electricity damage. Maybe it's against the, like those elements specifically. Let's try. No. That doesn't do anything either. Okay, well those hurt it. Maybe, maybe it's explosives. Maybe it's explosives. That said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the Astro Smasher on. Because at the very least, they can still blow everything up. to anything come see me when you're ready to collect oh all right Just not gonna come fight me, I guess. All right. Well, I think we cleared the dance floor. What is this? HMG 42 Dominator. Frame rate dropped a little bit there. Keep in mind, I am playing on an Xbox Series X. The frame rate did drop during that. There was a lot of moving parts. 
uh, but that is the first time I've noticed any type of droppage while playing this game, so that's a thing. Follow the shipping master. Destination set, and the destination thing is not working. I can't go in through there. Um, in here maybe. Yes. There's an item over here. Oh. There's dudes in here. Life transfer picked up. Please tell me this is some type of life leech. Mm. Oh, I have a skill point I can use. Into health. Is that an augmentation? Is it an ability? Life transfer. Marks enemies within reach. Marked enemies taking damage will heal you. That's beautiful right there. Right, we're going to put that on and we'll have spider bots on the other slot. So whenever we need to heal, we can just hit left bumper and kind of hit things that are marked. Heal up. It'll be beautiful. I was hoping something like that would exist in this game specifically. And it does. That's very cool. I'm not sure the percentage, but... I'm sure it'll still be worth it. Sometimes it's hard to tell like which enemies are carrying like katanas or brooms. Well, that's kind of neat. You dudes have a lot of health these days. the Cosmodrome. It's nice when it tells you exactly where you got to go. Like you can see the stars in the background. You must. You know, I can see these guys when they get close, but when they're running at me, I'm so focused on shooting enemies further away. It's like perfect camouflage.
good news is we keep finding healing. Spider bots are OP. an energy rifle in that moment is just so good. <laughs> Some of these enemies that are supposed to be a little bit more difficult because this weapon exists just kind of tears them down. Like that guy. I used the life leech thing. I didn't really pay attention to how much it healed me, but it did heal me. So that was nice. There's that audio. in the chest before we do anything else. Show me the goods. PF40 Velocity Helmet. We should go down there now if we can and uh see if he's okay i think we don't want him to be okay though that's the thing so let's make sure he's not okay my guess is the boss fight time Yes. I don't want to jinx it, but this is easy. <laughs> Propulsion leap, okay. This looks like an augmentation. Allows you to launch into the fray and cause a massive explosion where you land. See, this is the type of ability right here where I wish there was melee. Like, I wish I had some type of way to wield like a giant cyber hammer or something. Like the uh, some of the enemies have. That'd be really cool. This advanced movement area denial aug combines micro jets and explosive touchdowns a perfect conversion conversation starter so i would really like it if like i had the capability of melee because that'd be great leap into a fight and just start swinging away i would definitely play that
Just help me get out of here. Caution. The fire is about to reach the ship fuel distribution valves. Your weak flesh will be burnt to a crisp when that happens. I advise rapid movement. I gather you didn't get the data. Who the hell are you people? What do you want? The shipments you made to the Ascent Group. Speak. Uh. <coughs> Why? What's in it for me, huh? Well, how about not spending a perceived eternity in the Null exploring all possible and probable types of pain? Bring it on, you foreign bitch! I got enough black ice in here to fry whatever you jack me into. Yes, well, we'll see about that. Another assignment completed. I admire your resourcefulness. Seems there are sapiens who deviate from the species' substandard norm. Now we should leave. About 20 onyx void flatliners are heading this way, stimmed up and itching to pulp us. I prefer facing them at a different time and place. We will contact you as soon as we've extracted the data we need from this... All right, Kira praised me. Look at that. And level 16. So we actually are killing things a couple levels ahead of us. Completed foreign code. Okay. So yeah, uh, I'm fighting things like level 18. So. We, we were facing things that were, you know, two to three levels above our own level. That's how strong my weaponry is. Now, this is uh, like an, an in-game incentive to start doing side tasks to, allow, you know, get caught up in the in that regard. But I really don't think that we need to too much. Um, what should we put some, some points into here? Tactical charge gains. Uh, let's see. Body battery determines max energy capacity. Yeah, let's put some points into that and then more vital. With how much damage we're doing based on our weapon plus the critical hit rate. We don't really have a whole lot of necessity in building other things right now. If I need to, I'll start putting more points into aiming. Yeah, but it's already 7 out of 20, so our, our recovery rate is pretty high on that. So we can start making use of, you know, machine guns and stuff like that if we need to. I'm really not too concerned about all that yet. Um, and as well as next time I go to a upgrade shop, we can up our, our weapon to mark eight, I believe. So we're, we're doing fairly well in that regard. We're, you know, I, I, I'm not feeling like I'm not able to get past anything as of yet. So that said, let's, uh, let's get out of here. As soon as we get out of here, it should show me where I got to go next. got a backtrack till then actually can i just travel yeah let's go to Operative. We have oh news. come see us at cluster 13 okay cluster 13 is where we gotta go let's go to high street for now Yeah, it feels like it feels kind of crazy getting this weapon as early as we did and we were able to start pumping upgrades into it. I feel like it, like if you want to make this game a little bit easier on yourself, you got to get it. That said, let's go upgrade it again. Where is the upgrade thing? Down this way. Okay. We have enough to upgrade at once. Let's do it. Boom. 
and now it's going to start taking the uh the third tier uh currency for that to continue upgrading it god damn so that's pretty strong uh let's go ahead and consider leveling up something else maybe the hcf heat yeah for the sake of a different type of damage Alright, we need five to upgrade that to the next level. And then uh let's go ahead and equip it. The Astro Smasher it just it's too slow. And luckily with the warrens are right here. So we can just go up there. Oh, that was me. <laughs> that was me. Okay, 567. We can just travel there like so. Slowly learning, you know, the layout of the world here. Based on them talking about other planets, I thought we were going to end up going to different planets, but looks like it probably won't do that. What is this garbage can icon? There you go. Good. Here's a nice stack of you credits for you. I understand what this garbage can icon on the map is here. Well, it's not really showing anything here now. Oh well. There's an item down here. Let's go snag it. Ice too. Son of a. This here will take out a. Let's sell some duplicates. And then let's see what you got otherwise. Okay, more of the same stuff looks like. You know, I don't think I've seen anything that does digital damage as far as weapons go. Let me take a peek at everything here. Yeah, nothing I'm seeing here does digital damage. So it looks like maybe that's just like an ability only thing, possibly. Which would make sense. Anything cool and new? EMP grenade. No. Here we are. There you are. That head you brought us held a few info gems beneath multiple layers of bullshit and surprisingly aggressive ice. The Ascent Group contracted Onyx Void to smuggle prominent scientists and exotic materials from all over the sector onto Velez. All of it tied to a secret project. You must find those scientists. We dug out a potential lead from the head, a sapiens female named Laura Lania. The Ascent Group personnel files list her as a Class 3 HR manager, but her contact info has been irretrievably purged. She received the scientists from OV. Surveillance probe showed Lania frequenting several establishments in Stimtown. Stimtown. Talk to the bartenders and regulars there and see if any of them know more of her current whereabouts. Find Lania and you'll find the scientists. Questions? Keep us updated. All right. So we've got our next objective here. Trace protocol. Conversation with the Aforan. No, I won't tell you how. But 
I can help you with Stintown Excess. Come see me and we'll talk. All right, so it's like you end up having to work through several people to get one thing done. Right, let's go talk to Poon here. I love that as soon as you walk in here, it's almost like Star Wars Cantina music. Well, well, if it isn't my former handyman, come fucking rock star. <laughs> oh, the sweet irony. Here you are, two timing as a damn CGT operative for whatever mystery corp that sly of foreign represents, and you can't even get into stem town for a stiff one. You come a long way, but you still depend on me, huh? Well, you're in luck, because I need an errand runner. There's a bartender named Spice over at the loading bars expecting a delivery from me. They don't like to admit it, but most of the proprietors over there depend on my goodwill. Now this delivery will be frowned upon if it was discovered, but it'll get you through the lockdown. I have an arrangement with a guard named Wharton. Let him know I sent you and he'll let you through. Get the package delivered to Spice and you'll have your access. And remember, you owe me. We'll just let that simmer for a while. Now get out of here before I lose my appetite, you backstabbing bastard. He says all this like I had much choice in the matter, you know, like like I had the choice to ever not work for him or to just like cut off communication with him. I was pretty much told what to do like that. that that's the nature of being an indent in this game. He took it real personally, huh? Okay. Where is this next objective here? Do 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 not seeing it down here. Corp zone. Let me see. Can I change my objective specifically here? No. Okay, well, we'll just follow this. Uh, but for now, guys, we're going to end this video here. It's a little bit of a shorter one than the previous couple, but I feel like it's a good stopping point. We'll stop this one here and continue this mission on the next video, okay? If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that way you don't miss any of my uploads for this game or any other game that I play on the channel here, as well as make sure you leave a like and comment so that way it'll let me know that you're interested in the game and I'll keep putting out videos for it. Sound good? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.